Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Saturday. Today is Saturday. It is September the 16th. And uh, that a song, was a song I'd never heard before by Alyssa Kogler, uh, As Far As The East Is From The West. And I think the album is called, I don't know, Not Gonna Let It. I don't think I have the whole list here anyway, but I hope you enjoyed that. Good to start the morning off with all of you today. Um, today we're going to be looking at 1 John. Uh, 1 John 1, verses 8 and 9. 1 John 1, verses 8 and 9. And we're looking at the topic of God's forgiveness, um, which makes sense for the song I started off with. Um, but let me say good morning to you on this Saturday. Good morning, Blanca. I'm glad you're here. Praying for you this morning. And Michelle, welcome holding you in prayer today. Good morning, Macon. It's good to have you here. We're holding you in prayer. And Barbara, welcome. Praying for you today. Good morning, Donna. I'm glad you're here. Praying for you. Good morning, Jerry. It's good to have you here. Keeping you in prayer today. And good morning, Sue. Uh, it's good to see you here, praying for you, praying for all of you as we begin this day. So um, the title of today's devotion is God's Forgiveness, and I'm going to invite you to turn to 1 John 1, 8. And as you're doing that, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. Um, 
we are located, our church building is located on the corner of George and Liberty Street, Liberty Street, across from the State Theater and the Heldrich and right in the heart of the city. So we'd love to have you join us. We're doing more baptisms tomorrow. God is so good. Lots of, lots of wonderful um, children in the midst of our community. And so that's a blessing. We're also starting Sunday school tomorrow. So Sunday school kickoff is tomorrow. So it's going to be a, a fun filled, wonderful day. So I hope you can join us tomorrow uh, for worship. So uh, let's take a look at 1 John 1, beginning in verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just. He who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So today's devotion comes from Joyce Meyer's Strength for Each Day and it's entitled God's Forgiveness. Admitting our sins and being willing to turn away from them is all that is necessary to receive God's complete forgiveness for all our wrongdoing. I'm going to say it again. Admitting our sins and being willing to turn away from them is all that is necessary to receive God's complete forgiveness for all of our wrongdoing. I spent years feeling guilty and condemned, and you may have done the same, but condemnation is not from God. God is not only, God not only forgives our sins, but God forgets them, Hebrews 10, 17. And God removes them as far as the East is from the West, Psalm 103, verse 12. When you or I sin, no more sacrifice is needed other than the sacrifice that Jesus has already made. We don't need to sacrifice our peace or our joy and feel guilty as a way of trying to pay for our sins. God's forgiveness is complete. It washes away all sin and all guilt. So if we still feeling guilty, if we are still feeling guilty after repenting of sin, it is a false guilt from, uh, from the enemy trying to burden us. I encourage you not only to ask for forgiveness, but also to take time to receive it. At times, I even say out loud, I receive your forgiveness, Lord and I thank you for it. If guilt tries to visit me after that, I simply say, I am forgiven. Yes, this is a very hard thing for us to do. All of us have sin in our lives, uh, and we read that in in the scriptures today. We deceive ourselves if we think we have no sin. We do. Every day, there are things that we, that we do that cause harm in our world. There are things that we leave undone that, that fail to bring life into the world. Each day, there are things that keep us and separate us from the love of God and from the love of one another. Each day, there are parts of our lives that fall short. Um, sin is often, uh, the definition would be missing the mark. We don't, we don't get to the point where we're really called to go. We miss the mark. Um, and that is a part of each one of us. Now, the gift that we've been given, which we call grace, a free gift, is that we don't have to live in those places. 
I mean, part of what, what we are called to do each day is to see that in ourselves and to do something, whether it's repenting and turning towards God, whether it's asking forgiveness from God or from someone that we've harmed. Um, we have been forgiven. Um, but the hard part for us is that we dwell. We like to dwell in all the places that we failed. We like, I don't know if we like to, but we do. We dwell in those places. We dwell in the midst of shame. And shame is even more deadly because shame says not only have you sinned, but you are that sin. And that is false. That is not the truth. The truth is that you are love. You are the beloved. And anytime we spend time, we spend time dwelling in places of guilt and shame. In a way, that is sin <laughs> because we are denying our very identity as God's beloved. So today, where are the places? I know I, I say this every day, but what are what are the parts or the or the the things in your life that you can't seem to let go of. Maybe it's guilt, maybe it's worse, maybe it's shame that have not allowed you to let go and truly believe that your sin has been um, cast away as far as the East is from the West. So far has Christ removed those sins you don't have to live in the space that says, um, you know, I've made a mistake and I can't be forgiven. Or I did this in the past and I can never get, I can never get away from it. We have the choice each day to turn and ask for forgiveness. And when we've asked for it, we then need to receive it. So... What forgiveness do you need to receive or ask for first and then receive it? As we come into this time of prayer, I invite you to lift whatever it is that's on your heart today. Maybe it's something you said yesterday. Maybe it's something you failed to say yesterday. We all have something different. I invite you in this time to lift it up to God, to ask forgiveness and receive it. Let's pray. God of grace and mercy, God who sees us and knows our hearts, knows our past, knows even the places that we will fall in the day ahead. God who loves us more deeply than we could ever begin to imagine. Lord, we come before you today in need of your grace and mercy. Too often, we have harmed ourselves and harmed our neighbor. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not um, been your love in the world around us. Too often, Lord, we have lived in places of shame and guilt, which have not brought us closer to you and not brought us closer to your kingdom. Today, as we come into this time of prayer, we come with repentant hearts, longing to know you more fully, longing for a deeper connection. And so we lay down our burdens. We lift up the places that we have not 
not followed in your footsteps, not loved with our whole heart. And we ask your forgiveness. Lord, we know that you are God of grace and you long for us to have life. And so we turn to you. Not only do we ask your forgiveness, we receive it. Lord, we receive your forgiveness today and our hearts are grateful for that love. Help us each day, Lord, to not only receive your forgiveness, but offer it out to the world around us so that we might not only come to know the depth of your love more fully, but the, that we might be able to love like you have loved us, to live lives of grace and mercy and redemption and reconciliation and peace. We lift all of this up to you, Lord Jesus, with grateful hearts, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You are forgiven. Receive that today. God loves you, my friends. No matter where you have been, no matter what your past looks like, God welcomes you. God loves you. God forgives you. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. Have a very blessed day, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 11. Um, worship will be, uh, we'll be talking about and here's a good a good one. We've been doing questions. Why is it important to go to church? That's tomorrow's sermon. So uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a very blessed day, friends. Bye.